This is ghost plant or Indian pipes. Its scientific name is Monotropa uniflora, which means one flowered uniflora, which makes sense. Monotropa means that it takes one turn, monotropa. And if you'll notice, this plant right here, the flower has turned up, and that means that the plant has been pollinated. So as the flowers are bent over, that's an unpollinated plant. They're pollinated by flies and other insects, and when they're pollinated, the plant will turn up so that uh, as, it, as the plant dries out, it will release its seeds. Keeping it turned down allows it to protect the seeds or the pollen from rain, which might dilute it and um, interfere with the ability for it to be pollinated. Monotropa uniflora, or Indian pipes, sometimes also called ghost plant because of its white color. So the Cherokee Indians have a very interesting story about this plant, Indian pipe. They say that wherever you find clusters of Indian pipe, that is where clans or kin argued. Now the Cherokee were very famous for their clans who often would battle with each other or argue with each other often, but all the time they would eventually make peace with each other. And when they did that, they would stop and they would smoke a pipe. And so Indian pipe is, according to Cherokee tradition, a place where clans or kins settled an argument and made peace again. Interesting story. So Indian pipe has a very interesting life history. They have no chlorophyll hence the white color, but they are a plant. They produce seeds like other plants. Because they have no chlorophyll, they need to get their nutrients in another way. And they are what scientists call a mycoheterotrophic organism, which means that they are parasites on a fungus in the soil. Now fungus, they often have a symbiotic relationship with plants. This is called a mycorrhizal association. And in that symbiotic relationship, the fungus will take nutrients from the soil. They will sheath the roots of a plant and they will provide those nutrients to the plant. And in return, the plant will provide photosynthetic products, such as sugars, to the fungus. Now, the Indian pipe jumps into that system. What they do is they parasitize the fungus to get their nutrients, which ultimately came from the green plant. Because they don't need sunlight to do this, we often find them in very dark places in the forest floor. Here we have a plant called pine sap, also in the genus Monotropa. Pine sap is also parasitic on a fungus, often associated with pine or fir trees, and um, it will go through the same process of one turn when the plant has been pollinated, hence the genus name, pine sap. This is Tom for Two Naturalists.